This is Dr. William Coleman with the Greenville Health System and my broadcast topic today is Bartholin's cyst or abscess. The Bartholin's glands are normally located at about 7 o'clock and 5 o'clock uh, at the vaginal introitus posteriorly and in the normal female they cannot be palpated but in about 2% of females you will get an enlargement in either one side or both sides. Now in the normal female The gland, which is about pea-sized, will empty by a duct that is about two centimeters in length uh, into the posterior vagina uh, between the hymen and the labia minora. When the duct is obstructed on one or both sides when the duct is obstructed you get secretion of fluid into the cyst and you get enlargement and these cysts can be about one to seven centimeters in size. In women greater than 40 years old, you can rarely find adenocarcinoma of the Bartholin's gland. If you culture the fluid in the cyst, if there's not an abscess, 80% of cultures are negative. If you're dealing with an abscess, only about one-third are negative, and the remainder, the positive cultures, are usually a mixed polymicrobial uh, which are consistent with uh, the vaginal bacterial flora. Most Bartholin cysts are asymptomatic and are commonly found on physical exam and are usually more often unilateral tense and are not painful. So asymptomatic cyst in women less than 40 years of age and some people use 50 do not need treatment. As long as they are not symptomatic and aren't increasing in size.
with an abscess that is usually tender and fluctuant you have uh, two methods of treatment. One method of treatment of the abscess is marsupialization, which usually is done under general anesthesia. And if you take the cyst itself, an elliptical incision is made into the cyst, and the cyst wall is approximated to the overlying skin, thereby forming a patch, a pouch. The other method of treatment is to insert a word catheter. And if the abscess is in here, and if you look at the abscess from the front, you usually want to make a small stab incision with an 11 knife blade in the dependent part of the abscess towards the posterior portion of the vagina so that you have dependent drainage of the fluid inside the abscess. The most important thing when you're going to insert the word catheter is that you don't make the incision too large because when you insert the balloon of the word catheter, um, if you make the incision too big, the, the balloon will come out. The word catheter is like a very small Foley catheter and a needle goes in this end with a syringe filled with fluid and there is a small balloon at the tip. Uh, this word catheter word catheter is five centimeters in length and the diameter is the same as a five as a ten French catheter and so the word catheter is inserted in the dependent portion as far into the vagina as possible and then the stem of the catheter is pushed into the vagina and the patient can have intercourse uh, and if, this, if the stem of the catheter uh, comes out, she can, uh, it's very flexible, she can push it back up in the vagina, uh, usually with ease. Occasionally, you will see a patient with a 
small abscess that is not fluctuant and there may be uh, uh, surrounding cellulitis and those patients are usually treated not with drainage or with the word catheter or marsupialization but with antibiotics to cover broad spectrum and SITS baths. with follow-up. In any patient greater than 40, it's very important to, uh, even if uh, the abscess or cyst is drained, it's very important to follow that patient to make sure you get resolution of the abscess and if you don't, if there's still an area of a mass or induration in the area, then strong consideration should be given uh, to excise this area. Uh, excision can be quite difficult uh, especially if the abscess is acutely inflamed and there is a significant risk of bleeding. Scarring. And subsequent dyspareunia. And this is why most gynecologists will attempt to either insert a word catheter or do a marsupialization rather than excising an abscess. If the word catheter can be inserted, into the wall of the abscess and with the stem placed in the vagina. The intent is to try to leave the catheter in for four to six weeks. However, uh, experience tells us that most of these word catheters will either come out before six weeks or the patient uh, will request to have the catheter out, but the longer the catheter <clears throat> stays in, the greater chance of letting the opening in the abscess epithelialize and creating a permanent opening so that there is not a chance of fluid buildup uh, within the cyst or abscess. Excision is then indicated for several reasons. Number one, a persistent deep infection. multiple recurrences or enlargement in females greater than 40 although some people will use 50 this concludes the pearl cast on Barthlin's cyst and abscess.